Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about how you can fetch gyroscope uh, sensor data from uh, an iOS device. And you need to know that there always there's a link to project source code in comments. Okay, let's start our project. So file, yeah, we need to go to Xcode and say file new project single view app and so iOS Swift core motion yes Oops, uh, sorry I give it uh, you know one zero one to make it replace the, the older one okay and uh, when we have this we can go to main storyboard in main storyboard I'm gonna add one label yes this uh, label uh, just description of uh, you know what this app is doing I'll go to attribute tab uh, inspector actually and uh, here I just say yes core motion gyroscope and the font yeah blue and system something like 26 and be center okay also I add to keep same white and height uh, yeah also I need uh, some text field so I drag copy one and uh, say yeah this one uh, give it background color and I say keep same size for white and height okay so from this one Command C, Command V, I make a new one and uh, just I change background color Command V, another one And I just need to change background color for this one. Okay, so now I select all of these four. and I say editor embed in stack view also I make this one to be center so horizontally and vertically we have no storyboard course uh, you know show you how what this uh, you know center we can do it a uh, very program just be subscribed okay so yeah now I just need to connect this uh, so I call assistant editor and I uh, yeah, you know from you can do it from uh, here or here so I just connect one by one them to my controller and name them so the first one I name it X zero
the second one control drag here and I name it eggwork zero and third one I name it Z zero okay so uh, now uh, I can close assistant editor and I can do my coding part so uh, I'll go to view controller and uh, here uh, I need to make my first function so I name this function for example my gyroscope and uh, so uh, yeah, my gyroscope and then here uh, I say no input no output and yeah start coding so I just uh, need a motion variable so I have to declare it here first so uh, you know and also before that I need to import core motion so here I just name I make motion equal CM motion manager so here I can call that uh, motion and uh, yeah I just say motion dot gyroscope uh, actually zero update interval yes here you can give it uh, you know some time I give it for example 0 0.5 and uh, also we will say motion dot start update gyroscope Uh, but uh, it just need some declaration here. So here I open. So let's. Uh, you know, I'm going to get it uh, as it's offering. So yeah, I can get this one. And uh, so two. Uh, gonna I gonna say operation Q. Dot. Currents. And for with handler here just tap enter it's gonna change it to this signature so I just say date and uh, data sorry uh, let me go back so data and uh, here error and uh, yeah but so that one inside what so here I just say print data as any and uh, I'm gonna say if let's true data equal data if you know it goes uh, true gonna go like this and so uh, what is what gonna be uh, so you will say okay self dot view dot reload input view let me turn off this alarm yes so yeah, re uh, reloading put views, 
and we'll go to create all a three parameter e x y and z so x gonna be equal to data dot rotation rate dot x and uh, let y equal to data dot rotation dot y and let z equal to data dot rotation rate dot z okay here uh, I'm gonna update those uh, text field but first I need a f uh, to add a function you know to double I have it uh, typed already uh, ready and so I just copy paste from there and yeah so this is extension for double just add uh, you know rounded to just pick up uh, three uh, you know digit uh, of uh, decimal for any double integer uh, double uh, sorry double uh, number so i just say self dot x zero dot text this one equal Quotation. So I just said x here and backslash parentheses open close. And here I just uh, say double. So I make it double uh, from uh, from that x that I had, and then I just add that function that I made. Uh, so rounded in place 3 okay so I'm gonna make a Greg and Z for that yes uh, yes all done uh, uh, we can uh, run our uh, project oh no 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 I missed something very important so I made this function I need to call it now in beauty load otherwise do nothing so my gyroscope I put it here now I'm gonna run yes uh, so uh, after we done uh, now we, uh, we just need to make sure to copy my this uh, line in our view did load to actually uh, run this uh, function for us and uh, this keeping update you know uh, gyroscope data on uh, our console also in the device so when we run this uh, you know the I draw I ran this on a real device because uh, on simulator we won't get data uh, and uh, here you are we have uh, results in screen and uh, then we change our device uh, status you will get update value of course uh, you know that uh, gyroscope just give us uh, data about let me tell you exactly what you will get here from yeah so about the rotation so uh, landscape portrait or something like that uh, here you will, you can see results totally change yeah uh, I hope uh, you uh, this uh, this is uh, all for today. I hope you now. If anybody asks you, did you work with color motion? You say yes, I do. And uh, yes, I uh, hope you like this. If you like it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to really subscribe. Any question, comment, please. And I wish the best for you. And have a good one. Bye bye.